Hey there, it's Matt Remarino coming to you with a mindset hack for today. <clears throat> Excuse me, stay tuned and we'll go straight through it. Okay, so if you're feeling really good, negative thoughts and words are not on the same frequency as you. So you don't even have to try to stop them because all good things just pour out of you. So the fastest way to be more positive is to watch how you are feeling rather than trying to monitor your thoughts and words. You are the only one who has control of your feelings. So start to get in touch with how you are feeling and then deliberately focus on intensifying a good feeling within you. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty simple. So it shouldn't take too long to go through. Um, we all know how we feel. You know, we feel like doing something. We don't feel like doing something. We don't feel like getting out of bed. I just feel like I want to go to sleep and all the rest of it. So we know what those feelings are. You see, when we talk about mindset, everyone thinks, oh, I've got to be thinking about it all the time. I've got to be focusing on what I'm thinking. I've got to be careful with what I think. I've got to be careful with the language that I use and everything else. When in fact, you could really simplify it and just think about how you feel. You know, so how do you feel right now? Do you feel happy? Do you feel sad? Do you feel nothing? You know, what do you feel? OK, because if you feel happy, then go, OK, so I'm feeling happy now. How can I feel even more happier? What can I do to make myself even happier than I am now? What, what step, what action can I take to make myself even happier? If you're feeling sad and depressed, fed up, angry, frustrated, um, any negative feeling, then turn around and go, well, okay, look, this is how I'm feeling. How can I stop feeling like this? What can I do to make myself feel better? And it brings me, just closing my eyes then, I just saw Robin Williams and him playing Peter Pan in the film Hook. And what do they say for him to be able to fly? Just think a happy thought. In order to fly, he had to feel and believe he was happy. He had to feel within that he was happy to be able to fly like Peter Pan used to. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to say you're going to go fly. Of course not. Don't you know read too much into that. But what I'm saying is, is if you're feeling sad, angry, or any negative feeling, then just stop and think of a happy thought. So my suggestion would be, if you have family and you've got children, your kids make you feel happy. So have a default setting, create a habit that in your mind that every time you feel anything but happy, you go straight to that memory of you with your children or with your partner, spouse, whoever it is, or you experiencing something incredible in your life that made you happy. And then when you get that feeling, you go, oh yeah, I remember that feeling. Intensify and go, okay, so how can I make this feeling stronger? How can I do something now to intensify that feeling? By shifting that focus away from that bad attitude or that negative feeling and focusing on that happy one, straight away you're going to be, hey, you know what? Now I can actually focus and move forward with a more positive attitude. And that's what it's about. You see, you can only feel one emotion at a time. Everyone says, oh, I've got mixed emotions. No. Their thoughts tell them they have mixed emotions because their thought pattern is saying that they feel good about something at the same time they're nervous about it. But you can't be good and nervous. You either feel good about it or you're nervous about it. You have to decide which one you want to be. And that ultimately will decide whether you go ahead with that good experience or not, whether you're nervous or not. OK, and that's where you've got to get that mind over matter. So to be able to recap, in order to feel good or wanting to feel good, you need to actually hang on two seconds. I've got a message coming up. There you go. Got rid of that. OK, so in order to be able to feel good, pick a specific moment in your past, recent or distant, that makes you truly happy and then intensify that feeling that you get when you remember that moment, that memory, and just keep on building on that moment. 
make today count if you need to watch this again do feel free and let me just say this as well if you are getting value from any of these mindset hacks on my facebook page i've created a playlist so you can go back over them all in one place and also on my youtube channel i have now created a playlist on there and hopefully they should all be in there now if not and you can't find one let me know and i'm sure i can find it for you and send it out to you but more importantly the message i'm giving you here is for you to be able to spread that word out to others too because if you're getting benefit from these and you're finding them helpful to you then let others see that too and let them feel the same as you how incredible would that be if you can share this with friends team members or whoever and make them feel the same as you wouldn't that be powerful make today count go and share this with someone today mm -hmm.